Thank you, Beducated, for sponsoring this video. I'll talk more about them later. This is absolutely disgusting. Tomato, celery, carrot, and chili juice. If we don't tell the truth, we have to drink it. <laughs> oh! Hey everyone, my name is Lauren Eloise, and I'm joined with the beautiful Galka. And today we are playing Truth or Drink. Lesbian couple edition! Yeah, and also spicy, disgusting fruit drink edition. With spicy questions. Yes. Spicy drink, spicy questions. I see what you did there. <laughs> oh, I don't want to put this in my body. <laughs> I don't want to drink it either. It smells like tomato soup. It, yeah, it's st stinking this room out. Let's get this over with. Before we start, this video is part of the 12 Days of Christmas, Yay. which is a series I'm doing on my channel. We're posting every second day, so subscribe down below and you'll see more gay shit just like this video. We have a really professional <laughs> container for all of our truth or drink questions. This is a rose and <coughs> rosy beanie. Rose and, beanie. <laughs> and we'll pull them out and we'll ask the other person and they can either tell the truth and answer the question or have some disgusting tomato soup drink. The rule for the drink is if you have to drink, you have to fill your entire mouth with it. None of this little baby sip, like whole mouth filled with that and down it goes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm scared. Would you like to start or do you? I don't know. Scissors, paper, rock. You always win this. Okay, fine. Scissors, paper, rock. <laughs> <laughs> Winner! You go first. No, I go first. You... I ask you. Okay. Yep. Yes. Okay. Oh my god, I'm nervous. I feel like I'm drawing a raffle at a school like event or something. <laughs> and the winner is... What's your biggest fear about this relationship? <laughs> oh my god. What do I want to start with? I feel so nervous. My biggest fear in this relationship, mm. we're gonna, all right, there's no limits, all right? My fear is that at some point, like three years into the future or something, you'll get bored or you'll think that the love fades and then you're like, okay, well, I'm not in love anymore because it's not all fires and sparks, but that's not how it goes. Like there's always little sparks and bumps along the way, but like it's not all intense like we experience when we both were falling. Mm -hmm. Love is not like that all of the time. And it turns into something deeper. And, and you're I'm afraid, afraid that... that because you haven't been in love before that you'll be like, oh well, I, I don't feel anything anymore, bye. Guess I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my fear. <laughs> you're not bored. Not now. You're very fun actually. <laughs> It's your turn. Yeah, quick, pass the buck. Start off with a banger. <laughs> I'm not looking. <laughs> Who is the least favourite of my friends? Oh my god. <laughs> I will beep the name out. Okay. Unless you choose to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to drink on the second question. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'll say someone and you can't, you have to bleep it out. Okay. My least favourite of your friends is... Is there a rationale behind that? Yes, because they have let you down in the past and oh. that makes me unhappy with them for or past them. And um, okay. yeah, so I'm just like, no, you okay. hurt my Lauren. Oh, I'm not okay. happy with you. <laughs> I get it. Everyone can't be perfect though. So yeah. They're still my friend. And yes, yeah. still remain and my friend. And they're still a nice person, but if I had to pick one. Yeah, I know. You had to pick one because Struce was to your head. <laughs> yeah, no, I was not. I'm not. I'm not you're about not that. Okay. <laughs> What have you always wanted to try in bed, but haven't told me? Oh man, do I have to say this? No, you're perfectly welcome to drink your baked bean <laughs> tomato sauce juice. If you would like. It's not safe for work. It's, well, no, but neither is this video. <laughs> Go for it. You know what? I would love to try, like, <laughs> I decided this was oversharing. I'm sorry. That, or it doesn't have to be in that exact position. It could be... El done yep. other ways, but I would like to try that. Want some friction? All right, your turn. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite position? <laughs> oh, okay. I have my favorite position yeah. for me for like receiving. Okay. And I have my favorite position for giving. What's your favorite receiving one? My favorite receiving one. You feel okay sharing this? <laughs> Um, Mum, please don't watch this. Yeah, yeah, turn off now. Okay, so we both decided this was just too much to share on the internet. So we're going to respect each other's boundaries and also boundaries with you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say about that. Mostly okay. I like it because I just get to lie there. But my favourite position for giving is one that we've only done it a little bit because I think it makes you a little bit nervous. I like it when Warren sits on my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have like... 
really early on you asked me to do that and I was like, I'm sorry, I can't do this, I'm terrified. Mm -hmm. And then we've only done it a couple times. But recently we did some learning. This is where Beducated comes in. Mm -hmm. Beducated is the Netflix for sexual wellness and self-pleasure. They have over a hundred courses on kissing, going down on someone, sexuality, face sitting and so much more. So we recently watched a course on Beducated's online program that is literally called Face Face sitting. sitting. It's run by an educator called Luna Matadas and she was excellent. She's She's really funny. She basically just goes through like 101 how do you actually sit on someone's face and how do you be the person who's underneath as well. (laughs) She's cool. I like, yeah, you like her, I like her. We're watching the face sitting 101. We're actually watching the movement for the tops. Mm Mm-hmm. Who's the top? It's whoever wants to sit and whoever (laughs) wants to lay. Yeah, and also it's nice to have someone talk to you about it who's taking it seriously but also fun like she's not giggling you don't feel like it's inappropriate she's like no this is how you do this thing as an adult like it feels less em- like i'm less embarrassed to like yeah do it and fuck up or not but like yeah. yeah let's keep watching <laughs> i don't know about you guys but when i was in school and doing sex education all of it was about how to put a condom on a penis which Yes, on a banana. <laughs> yeah, so it's really nice to have a program like Beducated that actually is like all inclusive and caters to different sexualities, different gender identities. Just being, how old are we? 26, 25, 26, yeah. thinking that, you know, we've done a lot of stuff, but at the end of the day, there's so much more to explore. We're not too old to keep learning. If you want to strengthen your relationship with your own body or create a stronger connection with your partner, or if you're worried about doing things for the first time, especially as an LGBTQ plus person, these courses are inclusive and they make things feel so much less intimidating if you're curious try all the educated courses free for a whole day by using my link below have a little snoop around and if you like what you see which i think that you will my code loan x will get you 40 percent off the yearly pass you're welcome give the gift of pleasure treat yourself or a loved one with a subscription to educated all right your turn oh my gosh okay <coughs> Rank your first dates, best to worst. It should be easy for me because you've had way more than me, so imagine you ranking yours. I couldn't even me. remember all of mine. Oh, okay. Best to worst. Best first date was ours. This is the top. Which was? Which was we did a wine and paint. Next best would have been one of the girls that I went on a date with twice. We had drinks and then we went to burgers afterwards. It's not because it the was re- burgers or the drinks, but... <laughs> Reverse order. We just talked for hours and it was just enjoyable. I liked it. And then the next date that I went on with her, we again had some drinks with live music and we were just so in the moment with each other, just talking about a whole bunch of stuff. It was That's just nice. nice. Yeah. It didn't right. go anywhere, but it was what's, nice. What's your worst? The least, the least would be, I went on a date to a lunch. We had lunch together and she was late. And I was standing there like, come on girl, like, where are you? You can't be half an hour late, that's a bit embarrassing. We had lunch and that was cool. And then we sat in a shopping center and we talked for hours as well, which was lovely, but I did not read the signs. She basically was like, all right, do you want to go to the beach now? And I was like, I have to, I have to get up for work. I was like, that's just stupid. Like if we went to the beach, we would have, I don't know, got a little friendly, mm. but um. Yeah, don't be late. <laughs> I once, I know we're not supposed to answer each other's questions, but I once went to a date. I don't think it was a first date. I drove from where we live, which is like an hour and a half-ish outside of Sydney, all the way into into Sydney. And I'm calling this girl on the way, being like, I've left, I'm on my way. No answer, nothing. I got to where we were supposed to be for breakfast. And she was like, sorry, I, I just woke it. up. Oh my God. So yeah, and I'm pretty sure I just drove back home. And you never talked to her again. I don't think I saw her. But the message is, do not be late. <laughs> is it my turn to <laughs> ask you? It's your turn, yes. Okay. <laughs> Who gets in the mood more often than the other? This is a tricky one because I don't actually know the answer. I think it's you, but I think you'll think it's me. No, I thought that you would answer with me. Yeah, that's my answer. I'm pretty sure you get in the mood a little bit more. A little bit, only like a smidge, a bit more often than I do. Which is very surprising because I never thought that I was a really sexual person. Mm. And I I might not be. And I think I always thought I was... Even like at the beginning of a relationship, I thought I was going to be more of the sexual person, but it hasn't there worked out that way. There are other aspects where you are, though. Like, yeah, <laughs> you're the twelve-year-old boy mindset. Just sees the butt. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. You're done. Okay. 
What's the most annoying thing about me? What's oh, I don't know. The most annoying question. thing about me. Answer with very bad. Whatever first came to your head. Whatever, whatever you're like, oh, this thing drives me <laughs> up the wall. The most annoying thing is when you scratch your throat. Oh. And you look like a frog and it's just, it, it's gross and I, it's just annoying. And you're like, but I'm scratching my throat. I am. Like, you know when like, the inside of your throat gets itchy? No. And just... No, I don't. Internet, back me up here. <laughs> I'm not like doing. I still love you. You can still do it. It's just. I can't. I don't know if I can do it no, now. No, don't do it. You don't want me to do it. You don't no, want me to show them. No, no, we don't need to. <laughs> okay. My turn. Yes, my turn. Still love you. Just not my throat scratch. Just not your frog looks. <laughs> <laughs> I for sure I was gonna get this one. Sucks for you. Why did your last relationship end? Spill the juicy details. <laughs> Yeah, you should have got this one because my last relationship was not even... Well, it was a relationship, but it was like three months. The last girl that I dated before you, she was an international visitor to Australia. So she was here on like a working visa. Part of the reason was I felt like I didn't want to be the reason that she decided to extend her stay because that was like a lot of pressure for an early relationship if it didn't work out. Yeah. And also I just had a moment where I was like struck by the thought of like, no, I really like you as a person and I really care for you, but I'm not in love with you. And once I'd had that thought, I couldn't unthink it. So then you let her go. Yeah. So then I was like, I'm really sorry, but this is this is how Good I job. feel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was really hard. So if you uh, feel that you're not 100 percent in love with someone, as shit as it is, it's best for both of you if you let yeah. go. Or it's more for me. For me, it wasn't that I wasn't 100 percent sure I was in love. It was that I definitely knew I wasn't. Like it's yeah. still okay to have yeah. doubts. Like that's normal. Like even yes. early in our relationship, like, oh, because I, I don't was, know yet. Yeah, it's the first time I was falling falling in love with someone. <laughs> you don't know for sure. You're still figuring it out. You're still learning yourself. That's okay. So don't be like scared of that. But yeah, if you're if you have that any of those, we like, should break up. Sharp if you think thoughts, that, then yeah. yeah. Have I ever embarrassed you? What happened? <laughs> Any time that you mention to other people that I do a little toot toot in the morning, <laughs> that's really embarrassing. And okay, I'm yeah. embarrassed for myself, but it's also like, just shut up. Just like <laughs> that is something personal. You don't need to share that with other people. But Thanks. now we have shared it now with the world. Now the internet knows that yeah. I toot toot my butt. That's our alarm. <laughs> that's how we get Okay. Okay. You don't need to share. Let's continue. Off you go. Who is your hottest friend? Oh, who do I think is I think, the hottest of my own and, friends? Well, you under, underlined your. Yes, it's my yes, that's because there's another similar question. All right, who's your hottest friend? <laughs> who's my hottest friend? Oh my god. I'm trying to think of my friends. I know what I'm going to say. Okay, who is it? My hottest friend. I, I actually thought about that in my head, even though he's a guy. Yes. I was like, this is just the safest <laughs> answer. And also, he is very handsome looking for yeah. a gentleman. Okay, okay, all right. He has majestic hair. That's all. That's yeah. all we're saying. Mm -hmm. It feels like a cop out answer. I probably should have drank. Yeah, you have. You should drink. Go on. Just, I would let you just do a little taste test. You don't have to fill your mouth up with it. Just taste it. Because I gave a dodgy answer. Well, you didn't say a girl, and I think that's what the question was designed to say a girl. I just want to know how bad it is. <laughs> So I'm permitted. You're permitted to sip. Okay. I can smell it from here. <laughs> Just a sip. Bad? <laughs> <laughs> Is it bad? <laughs> it kind of tastes like I'm drinking really watery baked bean juice. <laughs> itself wouldn't be horrible. Yeah. Does it have spice in it? Yes, I can feel it in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> so a uh, full mouthful of that would it's, be absolutely I might horrific. throw up. Yeah. <laughs> this is again a question you should have got for me. <laughs> what is your body count? <laughs> what is your body count? The internet probably can work it out. Oh, not gonna tell. <laughs> Don't kiss and tell. That's horrible. <laughs> eh. Yeah. I really want to drink water, but I'm not going to because that would kind of be cheating. Yuck. <laughs> Next question. Okay. My mouth won't stop watering because of it. It's, trying to, like, it's kind of gross, out. right? Yeah. 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 Oh, this is... I wrote this one. Bonus question. Yeah. The other night. Read the last text you sent. Oh. 
Your last message was, we'll catch up by the end of January. Ha ha. Wow. So interesting. Yeah. Where's the spice? Well, it's funny because people won't actually know what I'm, you think it means that I'm catching up with a person, but it's not that. It's something else, but. Oh, you catch up on the tea. Yeah. Okay. No, wait. Oh, yeah. This is confusing for my little lesbian brain. <laughs> okay, this is the other version of it. Who is my who is hottest your friend? Your hottest friend. Who do you think is my hottest friend? Out of all my okay. friends, who do you well, think is the hottest? We're all the same people. Yes, we are. But the... you can't say because I've already taken him. Oh. You also want um, to drink if you really want to. <laughs> Oh no, I broke you. <laughs> I, can't, I can't think of names right now. Okay, I've got my answer. Okay, yes. I'm gonna say... Oh! <laughs> okay, alright. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> 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 oh, shit. What is the first negative trait you noticed about me? Ooh. Uh... <laughs> You could always drink. I could, but I really to save our relationship. I really don't want to. Probably, yeah. Probably the first okay. negative trait that I noticed right, about you, you is that you and you still to this day have a habit of like taking on heaps of work or tasks or things, <sighs> and then getting really stressed about it, and then complaining about the amount of tasks and things you have to do, even though you chose to do them. <laughs> Which I'm also guilty of, but yeah. It can be, it's, you know, you could say that like rationally, we can talk about it now, but in the moment you can't know, say to someone, um, you chose you to do all that. It's too much. Yeah. Yeah. But also the entire time we've known each other, like we first met when I first quit my full-time job. Mm. So I felt like I had to take everything on because how else am I going to pay bills yeah. and keep myself alive? You and fill your time. Yeah. But, I get it. Yes. But regardless, I do, I like to work and be busy. Mm -hmm. So you can keep a lookout. I am. Don't worry. Hang on. I'll get more. <laughs> Is it my turn? Your turn? Uh, no, it's your turn to pull out the hat. One thing you'd like to change about me. Oh, change. I know an answer you could do that would be really nice. But I won't tell you until you give me your answer. Oh, what? Because my whatever I come up with would be horrible? I don't know. Come on, there's oh, got to be something annoying. You're like, get that right away. I'm trying to think. You know what? This came to my head and I'm just rolling with this. Okay. I would change your circulation because when you have bad circulation and you put cold feet and hands on me and it's really annoying and I don't like it. So I wish I could change that. Okay. <laughs> what were you thinking of? Oh, I, I was going to say change my foot so that it was normal. Oh. So that I wasn't in pain anymore. Oh, that's lovely, but... But circulation's more important. I didn't think about that. No, I know. <laughs> Mine was more selfish. I like your answer. It's funny. <laughs> it's still like, it helps me, but it's it's not like mean to me. It's <laughs> funny. That's what my brain came up with. Way, have you ever thought about someone else while having sex with me? With you specifically? Yes, with me specifically. But if you're going to say in some other encounter you had, I would love to know the details. And I'm sure everyone else would love to know it too. Don't die to me! The drinking means that you have! Unless you're just playing the game, but I don't know if you'd vo voluntarily drink. Also, your face is going really red. Is it? Yeah. It's because I don't want to drink this, but I do. But I don't? You have thought about someone else. Have you, but I need to know. Why did you say that? That did not look like a full sip. Okay, your turn. It's really sweaty. Oh, what does that face mean? Have you ever faked it? Have I ever faked it? Mm -hmm. Fake it till you make it, baby. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh. No, I've never faked it. Have I've never you? needed to fake it. No, I've never ever also faked enjoyment either. Mm. Like, I'm sure I've exaggerated for the point of giving get the other everyone person. Yeah. on the same level, but not. No, yeah, yeah. I haven't faked enjoying it, I haven't faked coming. The benefits of being a lesbian. <laughs> oh, my turn. Yes. We're really bad at this game, guys. Have you ever gone through my phone? Not without your express permission. <laughs> like, I have gone through when you've been like, can you find blah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. and I'll go through it. Like, I know what your phone password is, but I've never, like, hunted through your phone for anything. Yeah. No. 
No, that would be... I haven't done it for you either. That would, like, really cross the line. Yes. Oh, my God! I actually went through my ex-boyfriend's Facebook when we were in a relationship. Because he gave me the password and I was 15. What does a 15-year-old do? And then I found out he was cheating or planning to cheat and that was... That's the end of that. That was fun. That's what, That's why I broke up with him. <laughs> that's the only reason Lauren broke up with her boyfriend. I wonder if he has the same password. Oh, jeez. Who would be more open to a threesome? You or me? You know the answer. I know the answer. Does the internet need to know the answer? Are you going to drink? This is your question. I'm quite, I can answer. It's me. <laughs> yeah, I think I would be more open to it than you, for sure. We have vaguely talked about it beforehand. Not like as a thing we wanted to do, but as one of those, like, you know, late night philosophical questions. Hey, have you ever thought about blah? <laughs> it's not like I'm 1000% no to it. I just don't think there would ever be a situation where I would feel comfortable enough to do it. I think I'm more open to the idea of it in a situation where I'm like not in a relationship. So like with you yeah. and then a third, like an, another person coming in, that seems it's, I, I just But like in a... Some people you know, can do that. I just am like, yeah. no, that's my girl. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how I'd go with it. I, I would honestly feel really don't. insecure. But I think I'd be, yeah, more open to it for sure in like a... Before we were dating, like two, three years ago, yeah. I would have been up for that for like in a dating scenario but only with other girls yeah none of this men shit yeah. sorry <laughs> don't think so don't think so not my vibe <laughs> oh no i'm putting this one back that's my favorite question you have to ask me. oh that's cheating drink oh what part of my body do you love the most your eyes knew you were gonna two say different that. colors actually very pretty there's another part that i thought you might say as well no no This is true! I forgot about that! Why did I- that didn't come about- Yes, yes, one of the first things I ever noticed about you was your beautiful hands. Because we were playing a game of, you know. I just really like them. They're the best hands I've ever seen. That's really gay, but it's true. They're like perfect. Super gay. I know. <laughs> yeah, nice. Now who's blushing? Yeah, huh? I am. Huh? Let's continue this game. <sighs> <clears throat> I feeling okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. Who is the worst kisser you have ever kissed? Name and shame. Oh gosh. Um, Don't name and shame if it's me. <laughs> it was probably a boy that I kissed in high school. I'm so glad you got this question. Because <laughs> I wouldn't have a big pool of people to pick from. Actually, no. Yes, it would have been a teenage boy in high school before I'd come out and whatever else. I'm sure they were they were shit. We probably were both terrible kisses at the time. But when I was out and I was out at a club one night on Mardi Gras, I made out with a couple of different people. Yeah, you made out with six people apparently. No, it was four. Oh, well, oh, right? that's close enough. But one of them was just like way too much tongue. Way too much. Like diving, diving oh. into the throat. And it was just a lot. So that was probably the worst. I was okay. Like, okay, goodbye. On to the next person. <laughs> Yuck. What was the best sexy time you've had? <laughs> With you. Yeah, what one? Which one? What was the best sexy time? The best ever. I don't know, there's so many that are freaking good. So I'm like, they all just merge into one. The other day was very excellent. Both times of the other day. 24 hour period. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we need to say about that. All right, off you go. <laughs> what sex toys do you own and which one is your favourite? Okay, well, I actually... Do I own any? Because most of the ones we have are yours. Oh, that makes me sound... No, we co-own one for sure. Oh, yeah. That is okay, definitely co-owned. Right. I own one that you gave me as a gift. Yes. And then I co-own one with you that we bought together yeah. into our relationship. The one that's a gift is a vibe. Looks like this. Yep. I don't really And it use... has a suction. Yeah. As I like I use that part, I don't really use the other oh, part. No. And then the thing we co-own is a strap-on. Anyway, what's your favourite? Oh. Come on, that is such an easy answer. Yeah, my favourite is definitely the vibrator. The yellow one. Which is yours, not yes. mine. Yeah. Just imagine if we didn't even have that in our life. Oh my god. Crazy. Yeah. If you don't have a sex toy, get yourself one. Get yourself a fucking vibrator, guys. <laughs> Biggest relationship regret. Oh my god. It doesn't specify which relationship. Yes, so. thank you. Woo! I don't have to enter with yours. Is there one? No, oh my god, no, that sounds bad. Oh shit. <laughs> Taking myself a hole. No, babe, I love you. <laughs> okay. 
You're mature enough to understand this. Yes. Oh, do I really want to share this on the internet? You don't have to. There's a perfectly delicious Look, okay. spicy I'm juice. I'm going to drink, but I'll just tell you as much as I can without being specific. There was something that happened and I should have been there and I didn't and I regret not being there. Anyway, as promised. All right, here goes. Three, two, one. <sighs> mm. That was a lot. It takes three swallows to swallow it all. Now it burns. <clears throat> yeah. It's so, like, salty, but... Bro, I think that was like a mouthful and a half. You went hardcore. I told you the rules were you have to fill up your mouth. <laughs> yeah, well, your juice is looking a lot smaller than mine. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> all right. Your turn. Ooh. There's not very many questions left. Giving or receiving? Now everyone's going to know. Giving. Are you the top? You actually enjoy giving more. Yeah. Well, that shouldn't be a surprise to me. No. I li- <laughs> it's not that I don't like receiving, no, I know, I know. but I do like giving. Yeah, because I, I like receiving, but it's not like I do not like give. Like, I get joy out of giving. Yes, that's what I get. I get joy out of giving. It sparks joy. Yeah. Anyway, it was your question, so it doesn't matter what my answer is. No. You don't have to tell the internet anything. Nummy. <laughs> There's only like three left. Are you going to drink for any of these? When are you planning to get engaged? <laughs> when am I planning to get engaged? When are you planning to get engaged? I don't know because I don't really have a choice, do I? Well, you do. When are you planning to get engaged? You can tell or you can drink. I am planning to get engaged. I've just, I don't need any more of that. <laughs> I'm planning to get engaged when you engage me. No, that's a cop-out answer. You either give the time frame or you drink. Okay, fine. <laughs> I would preferably like to be engaged from the 12th of June next year onwards. Any till, time from that till when? date till the end of that year, I think. Like, I love you and I, like, like I see my life with you. So, like, realistically now, but I still think that's early because we've been together for two years and two months or whatever. Mm-hmm. But by October next year, it will be three years. So, I guess a couple months before. So, you're months telling me the clock like, is whatever. ticking. Whatever. Like, it doesn't mean that I'm ready to get married or anything, but... You're ready to be engaged. Yeah, even if being engaged means being engaged for, like, two years or three years. Nope. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, you want me to put a ring on it? Well, you know what mum said the other day? She's, like, waiting for that. <laughs> is she? <laughs> yeah. That's a little pressure on you. Sorry. <laughs> okay. No, pick the big one. Is the last one a good one? I don't know. Why did you want this one? This is my favourite question. <laughs> I stole this from someone else's video. I don't know whose it was, but I was like, oh, this is an interesting question. What item of clothing of mine would you throw away if you could? All right, I have a list. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Those pink flowery shorts that you always wear. Oh, I know I you love them. them and they're super comfortable. You look like a five-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have ones that are pajama uh, uh, shorts. Uh, but, 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 okay, okay. All right, all right. That's number one. You have a jumper slash coat that is like all faux fur. You don't like that? No. I like it. It's not. I just, no thanks. You don't have to wear it, you know? Yeah. (laughs) I don't. I will never will. (laughs) And the third one was one of your like nice flowers button up shirts. I just don't like it. Oh, you don't like the black one with the flowers. Maybe it was that one. Yeah. I remember you mentioning before you don't like it, but I like it. All right. Last question. It's me. You asked me that. Where'd it go? Where'd it, where'd it go? <laughs> Drum roll. Is it a good one? I think so. Is it? What's the last lie you oh, told me? Last lie? Last lie? Yes. What's the last thing you fibbed to me about? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. This makes me seem really dishonest. Oh, do I have to? <laughs> Come on, you drink too. Peer pressure. Come on, come on, come on. Let's finish it off with the banger. Cheers. Does anyone want some tomato, celery, carrot, spicy juice? We have almost a full <laughs> bottle to give I am not drinking the rest of that. No. I can't understand why people voluntarily buy this. I don't know. What's the last lie you told me? I just drank. I'm not telling you now. <laughs> but I want to know. It was probably about something I got you for Christmas. You are probably like, did you get me blah? And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Your eyes look really pretty. Do they? Yeah, I was just Yay. noticing that. Okay, cool. We're done. We're done. Yes. That was mostly pain. Oh my. Oh, oh, my heart. Oh shit. I'm dead. Hi. Oh. Oh. We're gonna. 
tastes like tomato juice. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this spicy truth or drink video. If you did, subscribe down below. Don't forget to check out Beducated because you can get 40% off with the code LaurenX. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, you should also check out this one that we did, which was about your assumptions about our relationship. Yes, that's a fun one to watch. Yes. Yes. Go and watch that next and leave a comment saying you came here from Truth or Drink. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, oh, oh.